a former federal prosecutor hired by Michigan State University said there's no evidence that school officials knew a campus doctor was sexually abusing young female athletes. Patrick Fitzgerald made the disclosure in a letter to State Attorney General Bill Chouette, who had asked for the university's internal report on drive. Larry Nasser Fitzgerald said there is no report or Fitzgerald findings. But he said Michigan State is ready, willing, and able to cooperate with any inquiry by state or federal authorities. Fitzgerald's letter was released Friday by Chouette, a day after Nasser was sentenced to 60 years in prison for possessing child pornography and destroying evidence. He's awaiting prison sentences in state court for molesting girls, especially gymnasts, who needed help with injuries in the Lansing, Michigan, area. Nasser. 54, worked at Michigan State and at Indianapolis-based USA Gymnastics, which trains Olympians. Gold medalists Michaela Maroney, Ali Raisman and Gabby Douglas say they were among his victims as teens. It is clear that Nasser fooled everyone around him patients, friends, colleagues and fellow doctors at MSU, said Fitzgerald, who built a crime-busting reputation as U.S. Attorney in Chicago. A former elite sports doctor whose sexual assault cases have rocked Michigan State University and the group that trains U.S. Olympic gymnasts was sentenced Thursday to 60 years in federal prison for possessing thousands of images of child pornography. It's the first of three prison sentences for a former elite sports doctor whose sexual assault cases have rocked Michigan State University and the group that trains U.S. Olympic gymnasts was sentenced Thursday to 60 years in federal prison for possessing thousands of images of child pornography. It's the first of three prison sentences for While many in the community today wish that they had identified Nasser as a predator, we believe the evidence in this case will show that no one else at MSU knew that Nasser engaged in criminal behavior, he wrote Wednesday. Fitzgerald said it's just flat wrong for people to assume that university administrators behaved like criminals in a cover-up. The Attorney General's office is reviewing the letter to evaluate our next steps, said Andrea Bightley, a spokeswoman for Chouette, who is seeking the Republican nomination for governor. Fitzgerald said part of his job is to provide advice to Michigan State in lawsuits related to Nasser's actions. Indeed. The university is a defendant in many cases filed by more than 100 women and girls who say they were assaulted by the doctor. An attorney for the victims, John Manley, said Fitzgerald's affiliation with the school means his voice is not truly independent. If there's no report, there's no investigation, Manley said Friday. What the university hired Mr. Fitzgerald to do is to effectively close the gates and bar the door and not let anyone know what occurred. Mr. Fitzgerald has never spoken to any of the victims. Manley said athletes who were uncomfortable with Nasser years ago reported their concerns to university staff but nothing happened. He renewed his call for an independent probe.